this was a chemical that, that really was off the radar uh, of federal and state governmental agencies. Nobody knew much about it. Although what we did know from the company's own documents, the company that was making uh, material and releasing the chemical into the drinking water, was that it was a chemical that shouldn't be in the water uh, and appeared to be toxic, appeared to have a lot of adverse health effects. The studies that had been done had not been big enough to find, to actually find these problems. Nobody had actually studied the community. The independent science panel ended up finding probable links with testicular cancer, kidney cancer, ulcerative colitis, thyroid disease, preeclampsia or pregnancy-induced hypertension, and high cholesterol. The US EPA, even though we had notified them in March of 2001, didn't come out with its first guideline for long-term exposure to this chemical in drinking water until May of 2016, 15 years later. Learn from what was done here, expand upon that, use that information in these other communities, and hopefully uh, use that same model for additional chemicals um, found in other locations.